Welcome to my channel Flights Assistance. Etihad Airline Baggage Policy Etihad Airways, the national airline of the United Arab Emirates, has a baggage policy that can vary based on the class of service and the destination. Here are 10 points summarizing Etihad's baggage policy as of my last update in 2021. Please note that airline baggage policies can change, and it's essential to check the airline's official website for the most up-to-date information before your trip. Checked Baggage Allowance The baggage allowance varies depending on the travel class and route. For example, Economy Deal and Saver, 23 kg. Economy Classic and Flex, 30 kg. Business Class, 40 kg. First Class, 50 kg. Size Restrictions The maximum dimensions of checked baggage should not exceed 207 cm, length plus width plus height. Hand Baggage in economy, passengers are allowed one piece of hand baggage with a maximum weight of 7 kg. In business and first class, passengers can bring two pieces, each not exceeding 7 kg. Additional personal item. Apart from the hand baggage, passengers can carry a personal item like a handbag, laptop bag, or duty-free shopping bag. Oversized and overweight bags. Bags exceeding the weight or size limit might be subject to additional fees. Infants. If traveling with an infant, under 2 years, passengers can check in one bag up to 23 kilograms, plus one collapsible stroller or carry cot or car seat. Sports equipment. Etihad usually allows passengers to carry certain sports equipment as part of their checked baggage allowance. However, some items, due to their size or weight, might incur additional fees. Restricted items. Like all airlines, Etihad has a list of prohibited items that passengers cannot carry in their checked or hand baggage. This list includes sharp objects, flammable materials, and other potentially hazardous items. Excess baggage charges. Passengers will be charged an additional fee for baggage that exceeds their allowance. The fee varies depending on the weight and size of the baggage and the route. Baggage claims. In case of delayed, lost, or damaged baggage, passengers should report the issue immediately at the Etihad Baggage Services desk or office at the arrival airport. Again, please note that these points are based on the 2021 baggage policy and could change. Always check the official website or contact Etihad Airways directly for the most accurate and up-to-date information. Etihad Airline Lost Baggage Etihad Airlines Lost Baggage Service assists passengers whose luggage has been misplaced or delayed. Travelers can report missing items upon arrival, and Etihad's dedicated team works diligently to locate and return the luggage. Immediate action and timely updates ensure passengers stay informed throughout the retrieval process. Immediate reporting. As soon as you realize your baggage is lost, report it to the Etihad Airways Lost and Found Desk or Customer Service Desk at the airport. Baggage Claim Form You will be asked to fill out a Property Irregularity Report PIR. Provide accurate details about your baggage and its contents. Baggage Tracking Etihad uses a baggage tracking system. Ask for the reference number of your PIR, which will help you track the status of your lost baggage. Compensation Airlines, including Etihad, typically offer some form of compensation for essential items if your baggage is delayed for more than a certain number of hours. Baggage Delivery Once located, Etihad will usually deliver your baggage to your local address or hotel, especially if it was delayed rather than lost. Unclaimed Baggage If your baggage remains untraceable after 21 days, it is officially considered lost, and you can claim compensation. Documentation Keep all travel documents handy, such as boarding passes, baggage tags, and any other related receipts, as you may need them for the claim process. Travel Insurance If you have travel insurance, notify your insurance company about the lost baggage. Depending on your policy, you might be entitled to further compensation. Follow up, stay proactive. While the airline will try to locate your baggage, it's essential to follow up regularly with the customer service or baggage department using your PIR reference number. Feedback and complaints. If you're unsatisfied with the way your situation was handled, or if you feel there was a service lapse, you can provide feedback or lodge a formal complaint through Etihad's official channels. In any situation like this, patience is key. It can be frustrating, but staying calm and cooperative will often get you the best results. 
Etihad Airline Baggage Tracking Etihad Airways offers a baggage tracking system for lost or delayed luggage. Upon reporting, passengers receive a unique Property Irregularity Report PIR, number. Using this number on Etihad's online portal, travelers can trace their baggage's status. The airline employs the Global World Tracer system to assist in locating missing items. Report immediately. If your baggage is lost or delayed upon arrival, report it immediately at the Etihad Baggage Services counter located in the arrival hall of the airport. Reference Number Once you file a complaint about your baggage, you'll receive a unique Property Irregularity Report PIR, number. This number is vital for tracking the status of your baggage. Online Tracking Etihad provides an online baggage tracing system. By entering your PIR number, you can track the status of your delayed baggage. Bag tag number. Always keep your baggage receipt, usually attached to your boarding pass. The bag tag number on it can be useful for tracking and identification purposes. World Tracer System. Etihad, like many other major airlines, uses the World Tracer System, a global baggage search system, to trace lost baggage. Communication. Etihad will usually contact passengers if they find their luggage or if they need more information for tracking. Compensation. If your baggage is not found within a specific time frame, you might be eligible for compensation. The amount and conditions vary depending on various factors like the contents of the bag, ticket type, etc. Temporary needs. If your baggage is delayed, the airline might offer an amenity kit with essential items or provide funds to purchase necessities, especially if you're away from your home city. Baggage Delivery Once your delayed baggage is located, Etihad will, in most cases, deliver it to your provided address, home, hotel, or another location. Prevention While not a tracking tip, always label your baggage with your name, address, and contact information. It can expedite the process of reuniting you with your baggage if it's misplaced. In all cases, the specific terms and conditions provided by the airline at the time of travel will take precedence. Always refer to the official Etihad Airways website or customer service for the most current and accurate information. Etihad Airways Extra Baggage Charges Etihad Airways charges vary for extra baggage based on route and travel class. It's advisable to check their official website for specific rates. Generally, fees apply per extra kilogram or for additional pieces. Pre-purchasing online can offer discounts compared to airport rates. Exceeding weight and size limits may result in higher fees. Here are 10 points on the topic of Etihad Airways extra baggage cost. Pricing model. Etihad's extra baggage cost depends on the weight and dimensions of the luggage, the travel route, and the class of service. Pre-booking. Passengers can usually save on extra baggage fees if they pre-book online instead of paying at the airport. Excess baggage rates. These rates vary based on the origin and destination of the flight. For instance, flying from the Middle East to Europe might have different rates compared to flights from Asia to the US. Oversized and overweight. Luggage that exceeds the size or weight limits for a standard checked bag generally incurs a higher fee. Sports equipment. Etihad might have separate policies and rates for transporting sports equipment, such as golf clubs or bicycles. Etihad guest. Members of Etihad's loyalty program, Etihad guest, might be eligible for additional baggage allowances or discounts on extra baggage. Travel Partners If you are flying with partner airlines, different baggage fees and rules might apply. Changes Baggage fees and policies can change. Always verify the latest information before traveling to avoid surprises. Etihad Airline Flight Booking Etihad Airways, the national airline of the UAE, offers premium services for global travel. With user-friendly flight booking, passengers can choose from various destinations worldwide. Experience luxury in the sky and impeccable hospitality. Book with Etihad and embark on a journey of comfort and elegance. Official website. Always book from Etihad's official website or trusted travel agents to avoid scams or counterfeit tickets. Guest loyalty program. Sign up for Etihad guest 
the airline's loyalty program, to earn points with each booking that can be redeemed for future flights or upgrades. Flexibility. If unsure about travel dates, look for flexible ticket options that allow date changes or cancellations with minimal fees. Seat selection. Etihad offers a chance to select your preferred seat during booking. Some seats might come with extra legroom but at an additional cost. Travel classes. Understand the difference between the classes economy, business, and first class. Each has its amenities, comfort level, and pricing. Meal preferences. If you have dietary restrictions or preferences, ensure you select or inform the airline ahead of time. Transit in Abu Dhabi. If your journey includes a layover in Abu Dhabi, check if you qualify for a free stopover or hotel accommodation. Promotions and deals. Regularly check Etihad's website or subscribe to newsletters for promotions, discounts, or special flight deals. Additional services. Etihad offers services like extra legroom seats, neighbor free seats, or chauffeur services for certain ticket classes. Be sure to explore these options during booking. Travel insurance. Consider opting for travel insurance provided by Etihad during booking to safeguard against unforeseen circumstances or flight disruptions. Always double-check all details before finalizing the booking and ensure that you have all necessary travel documents ready for your trip. Etihad Airline Low Fare Calendar Etihad Airlines Low Fare Calendar provides an overview of the best prices available for your desired travel dates. Easily compare fares across different days or months and find the most cost-effective options for your journey. Experience premium flying with Etihad, all while ensuring you secure the best deal. Overview. Etihad's low fare calendar is designed to provide passengers with a clear view of when the cheapest fares are available, allowing for flexible travel planning. User-friendly interface. The calendar typically displays fares in a monthly view highlighting days with the lowest available prices. Flexibility, it's perfect for travelers who have flexible travel dates, helping them to save on flight costs by adjusting their travel dates slightly. Comparison, by looking at the calendar, travelers can easily compare prices across a range of dates, identifying potential savings at a glance. Dynamic pricing, Prices on the low fare calendar are subject to change based on demand, seat availability, and other dynamic pricing factors. Holiday planning. By utilizing the calendar, travelers can potentially avoid peak travel times, such as holidays and weekends, by seeing which days offer the most cost-effective fares. Package deals. Some airlines, including Etihad, might combine low fare calendar features with package deals, offering even more savings when flights are booked in conjunction with hotel stays or car rentals. Booking integration. After selecting dates from the calendar, users are generally taken directly to the booking page, streamlining the reservation process. Fare types. The calendar might display multiple fare types, e.g., economy, business, first class, allowing passengers to choose the best deal for their preferred travel class. Enhanced travel experience. Using tools like the low fare calendar, passengers feel more in control of their booking experience and can better manage their travel budgets, enhancing overall satisfaction with the airline. It's important to note that while many airlines offer such tools, the specifics of each tool, like UI, additional features, etc., may differ. Always refer to the official website or customer service for the most accurate and up-to-date information. Etihad Airline One-Way Flight Ticket Price Etihad Airways One-Way Flight Ticket Prices vary based on factors like destination, booking class, season, time of purchase, and availability. For accurate, up-to-date prices, it's best to check directly on Etihad's official website or contact their customer service. Always remember that flight prices fluctuate frequently. Time of booking. Prices can change based on how far in advance you book. Time of travel. Peak travel seasons can be more expensive. Day of the week. Flying on certain days can be cheaper than others. Travel class. 
economy, business, or first class will have varying prices. Flight duration and stops. Non-stop flights might be priced differently than those with layovers. Origin and destination. Some routes are more popular and can be more expensive. Promotions and deals. Airlines occasionally have sales or special offers. Booking platforms. Sometimes using different booking websites or agents can yield different prices. Loyalty programs. Members might get special discounts or offers. External factors. Things like oil prices, airline policies, or global events can influence ticket costs. For current prices and availability, it's best to check directly with Etihad Airlines or a trusted flight booking platform. Always make sure to read the terms and conditions and be aware of any additional fees or charges that might be applied. Etihad Airline Pet Policy Etihad Airways allows pets to travel in the cargo hold. Only falcons and guide dogs are permitted in the cabin on specific routes. There are breed, age, and health restrictions. Fees vary depending on size and destination. Always check current policies before booking. Types of pets. Etihad generally accepts dogs, cats, and birds, although there are restrictions on certain breeds and species. Cabin travel. Pets are not allowed to travel in the cabin with passengers, except for falcons between Abu Dhabi and certain destinations in Pakistan. Checked baggage. Most pets travel as checked baggage in the hold. They need to be in an IATA-approved container that's appropriate for the animal's size and ensures they can stand, turn around, and lie down. Service animals. Etihad recognizes and allows guide dogs for blind passengers and service animals for individuals with disabilities to travel in the cabin on certain routes without any charges. Restrictions. Certain breeds of dogs and cats, known for their aggressive behavior or for not coping well with stress, may not be accepted. Similarly, brachycephalic or snub-nosed animals, which can have breathing issues, have their own set of specific considerations. Health Certificates. Pets typically need a valid health certificate issued by a vet from the country of origin. This certificate should confirm that the pet is fit for travel and free from contagious diseases. Falcon Travel. Etihad is unique in that they have provisions for travelers with falcons. However, the number of falcons in the cabin on a given flight is restricted. Quarantine. Some destinations may require pets to undergo quarantine upon arrival. It's essential to research and prepare for the regulations specific to your destination country. Charges. The cost of transporting your pet will vary depending on the size and weight of the pet and its container, as well as the route you are flying. Some service animals may be exempt from these charges. Booking and notification. If you plan to travel with your pet, you should inform Etihad at least 48 hours in advance. Due to limitations on the number of animals that can be carried on each flight, it's advised to book early. Always consult directly with the airline before traveling, as these points might be subject to change based on evolving airline policies or destination country regulations. Etihad Airline Unaccompanied Minors Policy Etihad Airways did have a specific policy for unaccompanied minors, ensuring they are taken care of from the moment they're checked in until they're picked up at their final destination. However, airline policies can change over time, so it's important to check with the airline directly or visit their official website for the most up-to-date information. Here's a general overview of what the policy entailed. Eligibility. The service was typically available for children aged between 5 to 12 years traveling without an adult. Children under 5 years of age had to be accompanied by an adult at least 18 years old. Service fee. There was usually a fee associated with the unaccompanied minor service, which could vary based on the flight's duration. Booking. Bookings for unaccompanied minors couldn't be made online and had to be done through Etihad's contact center or a local office. Documents. Guardians had to provide necessary documentation, including a signed form stating all details about the child, the flight, and the person picking up the child. Check-in. 
Guardians were required to stay at the airport until the flight had departed. Dedicated staff. Once checked in, the child was looked after by dedicated Etihad staff. In flight, on board, cabin crew would regularly check on the child, ensuring they were comfortable and had everything they needed. Transit. If a child had to change flights, they would be accompanied by Etihad staff throughout the process. Arrival. Upon arrival, the child would be handed over to the designated individual only after presenting a valid ID and the required documentation. Emergency contact. It was mandatory to provide an emergency contact number for the guardians or parents of the unaccompanied minor. Again, policies and procedures may change. It's always best to consult directly with Etihad Airways or visit their official website for the most recent and detailed policy on unaccompanied minors. Etihad Airline Cancellation Policy Etihad Airways allows passengers to cancel bookings, with the refund amount dependent on ticket conditions. Refunds typically exclude service charges and ancillary fees. The cancellation fee varies based on the fare type and booking conditions. It's recommended to review the specific fare rules and conditions before making cancellations. Always refer to the airline's official website for the most updated policies. Refundable versus non-refundable tickets. Etihad, like many airlines, offers both refundable and non-refundable tickets. Refundable tickets can be cancelled for a full refund while non-refundable tickets might not receive a full refund upon cancellation. Fees. There might be cancellation fees applied based on the fare conditions. These fees can vary depending on the ticket type and the time of cancellation. 24-hour window. Airlines operating to and from the U.S., including Etihad, generally provide a 24-hour cancellation window where passengers can cancel their bookings without any penalty, provided the booking was made at least seven days prior to the flight's departure. Travel vouchers. Instead of a refund, Etihad might offer travel vouchers which can be used for future bookings. The validity of these vouchers can vary. Flight changes. If you don't want to cancel but wish to change your flight, there might be change fees involved, depending on your ticket type. No-show policy. If you fail to turn up for the flight without informing the airline, this can be considered a no-show, and you might not receive any refund or only a minimal tax refund. Medical and emergency cases. In cases of medical emergencies or other extenuating circumstances, Etihad might offer waivers or reductions in cancellation fees, though documentation is often required. Guest Loyalty Program Etihad guest members might have different rules or privileges when it comes to ticket cancellations or changes, depending on their membership tier. Travel Insurance Purchasing travel insurance can provide additional protection and possibly offer refunds in situations not covered by the airline's cancellation policy. Regional Laws and Regulations Different countries or regions might have regulations that override or influence an airline's cancellation policy. It's essential to be aware of these when booking flights. Please note that while these points are general in nature, the specifics can vary, and the policy can change over time. Always check directly with Etihad or your ticket provider when making cancellations or seeking refunds. Etihad Airline Flight Change Policy Etihad Airways allows passengers to change their bookings. Changes may be subject to fees depending on ticket type. The difference in fare may also apply. Change policies can vary based on the ticket fare conditions. Always refer to the specific terms at the time of booking or consult Etihad's official website for detailed and updated information. Flexible Tickets Etihad often offers flexible tickets that allow passengers to make changes without a fee, especially during unforeseen circumstances like global pandemics. Change Fee For non-flexible tickets, there may be a change fee involved, depending on the type of ticket you've purchased. The fee can vary based on the fare conditions of your ticket. Fare Difference If you change to a flight that is more expensive than your original booking, you will typically be required to pay the difference. 
Booking channels. How you change your flight might depend on how you booked it. For tickets booked through Etihad directly, website, call center, you can manage your booking online. For tickets booked through travel agents or third-party websites, you might need to contact the original booking source. No show. If you miss your flight without notifying Etihad in advance, you might be considered a no show, which could result in additional fees if you wish to rebook. Multiple changes. Making multiple changes to a single booking might incur additional fees or have different conditions. Refunds. If you're downgrading, e.g., from business to economy, the policy on whether you get a refund on the fare difference can depend on the fare conditions of the ticket you originally purchased. Special circumstances. Etihad might provide more lenient change conditions in certain circumstances, such as natural disasters, geopolitical issues, or other significant events that could impact travel. Remember, airline policies can change and might vary based on specific ticket types, regions, or promotional offers. Always consult with the airline or your booking agent to get precise, current information on flight changes. Etihad Airline Boarding Process Etihad Airways boarding process prioritizes safety and efficiency. Passengers are called by seat rows or travel class. First, business class, Etihad guest members, and those needing assistance board first. Economy follows, typically from the back to front. Adherence to boarding times and group numbers ensures a smooth experience. Pre-boarding announcements. Before boarding starts, there are usually several announcements informing passengers about the upcoming boarding procedure, flight details, and any specific requirements. Priority boarding. Etihad offers priority boarding to passengers with special needs, families with young children, and those requiring assistance. Etihad Guest Tier System Etihad's frequent flyer program, Etihad Guest, has several tiers. Members of higher tiers, like Gold and Platinum, are given priority during the boarding process. Boarding by Zones, Groups Passengers are divided into groups or zones. Each group is called sequentially to board the plane. This might be based on seat location, e.g., back to front of the plane, or ticket class. Electronic scanning. Boarding passes, whether in paper form or digital, are scanned to confirm each passenger's seat assignment and flight details. Secondary security check. Depending on the airport and destination, there might be a secondary security check where passengers' documents are verified and hand luggage is inspected. Final call. As the boarding process nears its end, final announcements are made to ensure that all passengers have boarded. Boarding completion. Once all passengers have boarded, the airline staff communicates with the flight crew to ensure that everyone is seated and ready for departure. Seat verification. Flight attendants will often conduct a final walkthrough to ensure passengers are in their correct seats and that all baggage is securely stowed. Safety demonstrations. Once boarding is completed and before takeoff, flight attendants will provide a safety demonstration or video, highlighting the safety features of the aircraft and procedures to follow in case of emergencies. Note, as operational needs change and as airlines continually strive to improve the boarding process, there might be variations or changes in the procedures mentioned above. Always refer to communications from Etihad Airways and adhere to instructions given by airline staff when traveling. Etihad Airline Check-In Process Etihad Airways offers multiple check-in options. Passengers can check in online 48 hours to 1 hour before departure. At the airport, kiosks and counters are available. Bag drop desks streamline luggage handling. Boarding passes are issued upon successful check-in. Always arrive early and adhere to luggage requirements. Booking and flight details. Before you check in, ensure that your flight details and booking are correct. This includes the date, time, and flight number. Online check-in. Etihad offers online check-in services starting 48 hours before the flight and closes one hour before departure. This can be done via the Etihad website or the mobile app. 
Self-service kiosks. At certain airports, Etihad provides self-service kiosks where passengers can check in, choose their seats, and print boarding passes. Baggage drop. If you've already checked in online or via a kiosk, proceed to the baggage drop counters to deposit any checked luggage. Ensure you're aware of the baggage allowance for your class of service. Traditional check-in counters. For those who haven't checked in online, you can visit the airline's designated check-in counters at the airport. Here, airline representatives will check your documents, issue your boarding pass, and accept any checked baggage. Travel documents. Always have your passport, visa, if applicable, and any other necessary documentation accessible. Etihad staff will verify these during the check-in process. Health and safety measures. Given recent global events, passengers might be subject to health screenings or be required to provide proof of negative COVID-19 tests or vaccinations. Ensure you're up to date with the latest guidelines. Special requests. If you have any special requests, such as meal preferences, accessibility needs, or assistance for minors traveling alone, inform the airline in advance or during check-in. Lounge access. If you're eligible for lounge access, either through your ticket class or frequent flyer status, ensure you receive the necessary pass or details during the check-in process. Boarding. After completing the check-in process, clear security and proceed to your departure gate. Ensure you're at the gate well before the boarding time mentioned on your boarding pass to avoid any last-minute rush. Always remember to check specific requirements or changes related to your flight, as processes can evolve based on airline policies, technological advancements, and global events. Etihad Airline Refund Policy Etihad Airways Refund Policy allows passengers to request a refund for their ticket if it's eligible. The time taken and the amount refunded can depend on the ticket type, booking method, and the reason for the cancellation. Always check their latest policy on their official website for the most up-to-date information. Type of ticket. The refund you're eligible for often depends on the type of ticket you purchased. Generally, flexible or refundable fares allow for cancellations and refunds, whereas the cheapest, promotional fares may be non-refundable. Booking Channel If you booked your ticket through a travel agency or third-party website, you might need to contact them directly for refunds, as their terms and conditions might differ. Credit Refunds if you're eligible for a refund, it will usually be credited to the original payment method. This process can take several weeks, depending on the mode of payment and bank processing times. Cancellation fees. Some ticket types might have cancellation fees, which would be deducted from the refund amount. Travel vouchers. In certain situations, Etihad might offer travel vouchers instead of cash refunds. These vouchers can be used for future travel and might come with bonus credit as an incentive. Force Major Events For situations beyond control, such as natural disasters or global health crises, e.g., COVID-19, Etihad might adjust their refund policies temporarily to accommodate affected travelers. No show. If you miss your flight and don't notify Etihad in advance, you might not be eligible for a refund, especially if your ticket is non-refundable. Tax and fee refunds. Even if your ticket is non-refundable, you might still be entitled to a refund for certain taxes and fees. The exact amounts can vary depending on the route and country regulations. Changes to flight schedules. If Etihad changes the schedule of your flight significantly and it doesn't suit you, you may be entitled to a refund or alternative flight arrangements. Insurance claims. If you have travel insurance, it's a good idea to check your policy. 
In certain cases, even if the airline doesn't provide a refund, your travel insurance might cover cancellations due to certain reasons. Again, for the most current and accurate information, you should contact Etihad Airways directly or visit their official website. Refund policies can change based on prevailing regulations, airline policies, or special circumstances. Etihad Airline Managed Booking Etihad Airlines Managed Booking feature allows passengers to effortlessly review, modify, or enhance their flight details. Through this service, travelers can select seats, update contact information, request special assistance, and more. Offering convenience and flexibility, it ensures a seamless journey from booking to boarding. Official Website you can manage your booking on the Etihad Airways official website. Simply navigate to the Manage or Manage My Booking section. Booking Reference To access your reservation, you'll typically need your booking reference, often a six-character code, and your last name. Ensure you have this information handy. Flight Changes if you need to change the date, time, or route of your flight, you can do this from the Manage Booking section. Be aware that there may be fees or fare differences associated with making these changes. Seat Selection Through the Manage Booking feature, passengers can often select or change their seats. Premium seating, like exit row or extra legroom seats, may come with an additional cost. Special services. If you need to request special services like meals, wheelchair assistance, or any other accommodations, the Manage Booking section allows you to add these to your reservation. Cancellation and refunds. If you need to cancel your booking, you can usually do this through the Manage Booking Portal. Keep in mind that cancellation fees may apply depending on the type of ticket you've purchased. Baggage. If you want to purchase additional baggage allowance or get information about your current baggage limits, the Manage Booking section can provide this. Check-in. While not strictly a part of Manage Booking, many airlines, including Etihad, allow passengers to check in online ahead of their flights. This service can often be accessed through the same portal. Travel vouchers and upgrades. If you've received travel vouchers or wish to upgrade your booking, you can often manage or apply these through the Manage Booking section. Contact and personal details. If you need to update your contact information or passport details, you can often do this through the Manage Booking section as well. Always remember to double-check any changes you make and ensure that you receive a confirmation for any modifications. Additionally, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the airline's policies, especially regarding fees for changes or cancellations. Thanks for watching.